Hi guys, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the Flytrex. Uh, basically what a Flytrex is, it's a small component that can carry a micro SD card and it goes in between your GPS and your flight controller and uh, logs all the data. So basically it's a bit like a black box for your quadcopter or motor router. Uh, now if you want one of these you can go to flytrex.com uh, and they're actually very cheap, $49.99 um, and it's uh, compatible with the DJI NASA M that's version 1, version 2, light and uh, that also includes the for the Phantom as well so uh, let's have a little look on the website and show you what to expect okay so here we are on flytrex.com and as you can see here is the picture of the actual unit itself and uh, you can see you got the NASA M Phantom and a 450 showing. $49.99, which is pretty cheap. Uh, the local dealers, uh, I think there's only two at the moment. Uh, I think it's Dronefly and somebody else. Yeah, UAV Vision. UA Vision. Um, that's a British company and obviously Dronefly in America. Um, or you can order directly, I think, through Dronefly themselves. Um, so, what is it? As I said, it's a. It's my phone. As I said, it's a black box recorder, uh, but also it uh, logs all your data from your flights. And also, you can look around and uh, see if anyone's flying near you, maybe meet up with them, or uh, maybe have some challenges against them. So, let's have a little explore here. Okay, so this is showing nearby people that have uh, done flights. So, this guy's up in Manchester, and you can see he's got a flight duration of 9 minutes 10 seconds, sorry, 11 seconds. He travelled a total distance of 1.3 miles. Uh, his max distance away, I guess, in that is, was 385 feet. His maximum speed, 36. Uh, max ascent was 121 feet, and his maximum altitude was 332. So, if I click on this, we can actually see a bit more data. So it looks like he was using the uh, steady drone uh, with a NASA. And here it gives us a map showing his flight log of where he went. And he's been doing some nice turns here. And here we can see his altitude, temperature, flight speed, and the timeline goes all the way along until he lands. So that's uh, quite interesting, as you can see. And uh, I can zoom out the map here. If there was any other flyers, we'd probably pick them up too on there. So I can see he's not too far from me. He's just here, and I'm just here, so not really too far. And it also gives me the option, if I go further down, to uh, comment on this flight mission that he's done. Uh, when he went out, he unlocked a badge, which was his speed 35. So he's gone over 35 miles an hour for the first time using his quad. So he's been given the uh, speed badge, which is this one here. Now there's lots of badges you can get. So if I just go on to badges, these are a bit like unlocks in Call of Duty. As you progress and you, uh, you do certain things, you unlock extra badges. So obviously he's done his 10 mile an hour, his uh, 20 mile an hour, 35, which he's just done. So uh, his next one would be 50 if he could get up to 50, which is 80 kilometers an hour. Uh, his other badges here that you can uh, get, which are your ascents. So successfully ascend 120 feet, 180 feet, and so on. Uh, obviously, as long as it's um, legal in your company, uh, in your country. Uh, dive badges. This is basically when you uh, go below uh, your takeoff point, and it looks like no one's done the dive badges yet. Distance badges. So uh, 150 feet, 300, 1k, 2k. 3k also gives you a um, percentage on the bottom showing you what people have done so uh, for instance the distance was unlocked by 13% of the people okay travel badges this is basically uh, if I fly in England you, you know that's I don't get a badge for that but if I went and say flew in Prague I'd get my traveler badge meaning I flew in two different countries if I flew then maybe in Germany I'd get the traveler badge for three countries and so on uh, no one's unlocked the, these ones yet Okay, so you've got altitude badges as well, and action badges, so as soon as you join up, you'll get your action badge, I guess. Uh, these are going to be uh, expanded to a lot more different um, badges. So let's click on globe, and we can see flyers globally. We've got people all over the world, quite a few in the uh, Europe at the moment. There's quite a few in Germany, actually. 
they look quite close together. A couple of guys in there. My internet's very slow. A couple of guys in uh, Belgium. Someone in Birmingham. And the guy in Manchester. When it decides to load. And then eventually somewhere here when I do my flight will be my flight log. So let's go on to my profile here you can see you can add extra uh, quads so if I wanted to put my 450 or 550 on here as well to uh, show all the logs from that I can do and I haven't got any um, personal records at the moment because I haven't done any flights so what we need to do is plug this into our quadcopter have a flight take out our memory card and then we can upload our first mission and all the data will be shown so uh, I think we need to go and fit this onto one of my quads Let's just take a quick look at what I've actually got here. This is the uh, flight core itself. This is where all the data is going to be stored. So we get some flight track stickers, the main control board itself. As you can see, you've got a, a small slot here for the uh, SD card or micro SD card. And uh, we get a spare cable. Uh, if you've got a uh, DJI Phantom, there's a uh, Flytrex Phantom cable. Just pop this out. I'm going to try this on a uh, TBS to start with. So you can see the Phantom cable here is a little bit different. You've got it splitting off into two. I'm actually using the NASA M Lite Edition. We're just going to use the two components in the core bag. Okay, so I'm going to fit this to my TVS Discovery. Uh, what I'm first going to do is connect my cable into here. And uh, this goes into the side where you've got these two little uh, silver pots here. So put the cable onto that side, and then we're going to plug our GPS into there. But before I do that, I'm just going to pop off this top plate. Okay, so I'm going to take my flight tracks and plug it into the slots across here for the GPS like so and I'm going to plug my GPS into here and it's as simple as that to plug in all I need to do now is put in an SD card Okay, so we're all fitted inside now. You can just see the uh, pin board inside here, and it's uh, just stuck on there with double sided tape. And I can take my memory card in and out nice and easy. So let's uh, take this to the field and uh, give it a spin, and then we'll come back and read the uh, data. So the lights fade pretty quick, so we'll get this up in the air. Okay guys, so I'm back from a flight, uh, that was actually my first time FPV with the uh, TBS Discovery, uh, it flew quite well, um, I was a little bit nervous to fly it too hard uh, because it is the first time actual christening of giving this a good uh, fly across the field, so yeah, quite happy with that. Anyway, uh, underneath I've got my uh, flight tracks, so I'm just going to pop out the memory card, nice and easy to do. And I'm just going to plug it into the computer and see what we've got inside. There we go. 